G'day everyone and good morning from sunny Australia. I'm Max. I'm Lee. And we have been living in a van for the last year and a half. Normally we're in our van in South America. Lately we've been in Kangaroo in Australia. But today we want to do something different. We want to take you guys along for the ride as we go down the iconic Great Ocean Road. It is a road trip that Lee and I have done multiple times during the initial phases of our relationship. And it is actually the place where we really decided we wanted to build a van of our own and try a van life long term. So today we're bringing you along with us for a day in the life. However, we thought why not do it in a classic Australian style. And we're leaving Kangaroo here and we're taking out this guy. Good morning. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen Surf is all along this coast and really where Lee and I spent a lot of time exploring and yeah, just having a good time. Yeah, it's a very special place to us and today's trip is even more special as we're taking a combi this time, which we've always wanted to do. A huge thanks to Alice and George from Higher Combi for letting us take out Applejack. We're really excited. First things first, Max, what are we doing? Coffee. I was gonna say check the surf, but we can also make a coffee. Best spot for a surf check. Whew. So unfortunately, it's actually a little bit onshore. The wind's coming from the east and easterly wind on this west coast of Victoria is never a good thing. Good news is it means now it could be time for coffee. So if you're like us and you've never been inside a combi, let us show you the inside of our van. So as you can see here, this is our table that sets up. Underneath has all of our cooking supplies. Right here is actually an extra seat so we can both sit. It's and actually really cozy in here. Yeah. And we do have a pop top here so when we set up uh, for the night and for cooking when we want to spend more time inside we can pop the roof up. But for just sitting down there's tons of space. Should we pop it up now or no? Nah. Smell that sweet, sweet goodness. And while Max is preparing his coffee, I am finishing some birthday cake that we had last night. We just came off a weekend celebrating with all of his friends, everyone who turned 30 this year. And her friend just made cakes for everybody, so she made Max a coffee cake. I don't love coffee, but I definitely love coffee, coffee cake. Thank you, Jess. She nailed Thank it. Thank you, Jess. this cake. And then back here, we have a couple picnic rugs, all of our bedding. The couch that Max was sitting on earlier pushes out into the bed. And I'm sure you wake up with some beautiful views. All right, on to the next. Yep. Time to find us some koalas. I wanted to give you guys some quick facts about the Great Ocean Road. Oh, it's bumpy, fact one. Actually, for the most part, the road's really good, especially as opposed to South America.
143 kilometer stretch. We are on the southeastern coastline of Australia in Victoria and it was actually built by returned soldiers after World War One, and is the world's largest war memorial. So quick fact for you there. And so in last week's video, we showed you kangaroos and we found them on my grandparents' farm, which I love. This week, we are on the hunt for koalas. Almost positive I can find you some because I've got a little spot off the Great Ocean Road here that I think Lee did, I got you there. Yeah, Max sent my sister and I and a couple friends there three, four years ago on our first big trip down the Great Ocean Road and we definitely saw koalas. That was my first time seeing them, or second time seeing them in the wild. So I'm very excited. Keep your eyes peeled. Burning like a light show, free yourself and let go, time to see it all. It looks like there's someone else on the hunt. Bit bigger than us. Uh, this is a very good sign, least up. I see one. Hey. He's facing away from us, but definitely there. Lee, I reckon we can find someone a bit closer. Let's get going. Right there. Little guy, he almost looks like 50 away. Right. Oh, he's so cute! Pull, pull over up there where it's safe. Alrighty, so Lee, the master spotter, has found one. Where is it, Lee? Oh, yep. There he is. He's up this tree. He's a bit further away. He looks like he might be having a bit of a nap. I'll zoom in for these guys. I wonder if my other camera can get it. Oh yeah, no, that's got it. Aww. So that's him right up there. And so koalas only eat eucalyptus leaves off the gum trees in Australia. And they're very well known for that fact. In fact, they very rarely ever come down to drink water. They get the majority of their water from the leaves. So when Australia is going through a drought, and a heat wave, koalas have been known to fall from trees before, which can lead to legends, Lee. <gasps> what the leg what legends that lead to? The legendary drop bears. The drop bear. If you don't know about the drop bear, Google it. Also, I think how to be able to tell a eucalyptus tree from the rest is you can see how the bark changes color because it actually sheds its bark, right? Eucaly eucalyptus trees? Now I'm learning something. Well, I think so, but if you look at all the other trees versus these ones, these ones always have like light colors and browns and they always just kind of naturally shed. And Lee, do you remember the most Australian song ever that involves gum trees? Gum tree, gum tree. <laughs> now I don't know if you can see this guy but there's koala number three. If we pan this way, right up there. Koala number four. And now, I think it's time for lunch. Have a look at this blue. We're making our all-time favorite sandwiches. If you watched our video a couple weeks ago, you will know this recipe, and if you want to learn the recipe, we'll link that video up here. But it's a very classic, um, dairy-free sing sanger. Banger, as they say over here. Hells yeah! All right, we're back on the road and we're now heading farther down the Great Ocean Road to see the Twelve Apostles, which is probably the most famous landmark along this stretch. But first thing, I need to address something that happened two videos ago. A few of you were very observant and noticed that there were a couple scenes where I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. That was absolutely my mistake. We always do try to make our safety a priority in the van since we are on the road so much. And funny enough, Max's mum is actually a mental health professional who works with road trauma. So she got right on the phone to us right away when she noticed that and just wanted to remind us to be safe. She's given me this t-shirt 
which is shine a light on road safety. The organisation is called Road Trauma Support Services Victoria and yeah, a lot of people don't know there is service available. It is a non-profit organisation that she works for. They offer free counselling to anybody who's been on the road and has dealt with any trauma from accidents or family or friends who've been in the same situation. When I was a paramedic, they were someone we often referred patients to and it's not just patients that are in an accident, it's also people that witness an accident or are in any way affected by a road accident can call these guys for free and book in free consultation and you might even get my mum talking to you and they make a big difference and yeah, get you back feeling better about it again. Yes, so thank you everybody for looking out for us. We will make sure our safety is a top priority in the van and yeah, off to 12 Apostles. We have finally made it to the 12 Apostles, well the car park, and it turns out the secret's out. They are a known thing. There's a few people here. We're going to give you a quick look from the main lookout point because that's where you get the best view of all of them. And then I've got a nice little beach that's nearby that hopefully won't be quite so busy. Yeah. Everybody knows you got So it was way too windy to talk about the 12 apostles out there, but essentially there are only eight of them left and they are limestone stacks that I think have just... Well, we're actually not sure if <laughs> no. they've broken off the land <laughs> or if the land has receded I don't and they're left over. So we're just not gonna... I don't we're not tour guides. We, who are we kidding? We're not tour guides. I don't want to say this because people will be up. like, why didn't you do your research? And what? They can do research. We don't know everything. We're just normal people vlogging about our day. It's true. They're limestone stacks. Yeah. If you want to know more about the 12 apostles, look them up. We showed you them. They're beautiful. We may even pin your comment. Put yeah. it in the comments Yeah, below. let us know. <laughs> let us know the answer. We'll pin it. That's a good idea. All right. Let's go to the beach. drone signs everywhere and there are multiple helicopters running tours all around so not a good idea so we'll enjoy the beauty from the ground level on this one we're just taking a few minutes to actually sit back relax and enjoy this combi life yeah and I know it's late in the, game, in the game in this vlog, but what's everyone else think of this hat? Because I like the hat itself, and Lee likes it on me, but I don't think I pull it off. I think you pull it off. I think if you open it up to the public, you're going to get a lot of both ways. Like people are going to say yes, and people are going to say no. It's not going to help you. Be kind. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are now at the point of needing to find a campsite for the night. A follower told us about the app CamperMate, which is... It's not I Overlander. Unfortunately, there's no eye overlander in Australia. I don't no, think there is an eye overlander. It just doesn't is not heavily used. It's got hardly anything on it. Yeah. Which you know, if everyone, most people will know that that's our Bible back yeah. in South America, but it's not here or it's not heavily used here. So we're on camper mate checking out for a spot, and uh, yeah, we have no idea where we'll end up at this stage. But it's getting dark in probably an hour. We do know that we've bought delicious food for dinner, yeah, and we're we excited to cook in here. Yeah. Okay. We better turn this off. We don't have much camera battery left and we cannot charge it. We're just so happy living the combi life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Woo! Keep killing it. Keep going. Tonight we are just having a good old veggie stir fry. Very easy. Just broccoli, onion, garlic, peppers, sorry, capsicum, and chickpeas. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Lettuce, Chick spinach. Lettuce, spinach. Chickpeas are the thing to kind of bulk it out and get a bit of protein in there. And we have a delicious honey soy garlic sauce to sesame, honey sesame. Sesame, yeah. Sesame soy garlic sauce to go on there. And uh, yeah. Come on. This is one of the best parts of van life is you can move your home wherever you want for dinner. And this is our after dinner view right behind me. We're pretty happy campers, you'd say. Broccoli tastes really good raw for some reason. Good. It's really good. Once again, Lee chose to put a lot of spice in there. What? I can't. I don't find spicy at all. My nose is just running a little bit. But guys, we hope you have really enjoyed today's adventure. We've had a lot of fun. We've probably driven a little faster than we normally would to cover the ground because we wanted to show you the 12 Apostles as well, which were a bit further away, but we kind of felt you couldn't do a Great Ocean Road trip video without showing them. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy coming along with us, experiencing the combi life with us. Um, again, if you're in this area, you're going to be doing the Great Ocean Road. Hire Combi is a family-run company. It gives you a taste of what it's like to be inside one of these old-school vehicles, the old steering, the old stick shift, the setting up set up inside it's so different to our sprinter van it's been really fun yeah to know. it's definitely a different mode and i think as yeah. lee said it's a good try before you buy if you're thinking yeah. about getting into the van life and especially if you're thinking about doing it down the combi line this is a great way to start yeah and, and we're wrapping up here because tomorrow we plan to turn off the cameras and just enjoy each other's company and the beautiful beaches it's a message that we want to spread online because yes we are working online and we enjoy interacting and plugging in but we also enjoy disconnecting and getting out there and we want all of we want to encourage all of you to do the same yeah make of sure course, you still check in on sundays to see what to see what's going on but yeah, other than still that, watch like, our videos but then yeah, otherwise disconnect take That's some fine. time off get outside you know do your thing away from everything there's it's, it's all about balance and yeah. i think that's what kind of call me life van life is all about yeah, healthy yeah. balance. Yeah. So if you're new to this channel and this is the first video of ours you've seen, make sure you watch last week's because it was an absolute cracker. <laughs> and also hit that subscription button because there's going to be plenty more Aussie adventures to come. In a few weeks, we are back to South America. And yeah, and the adventure continues. Yeah, so we'd we love so you to come on board that. with us. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye.